What's up subscribers? Welcome back to the channel. In this video, as requested, we're going to be talking about Applied Genetic Technologies Corporation, trading under the ticker AGTC. But first, if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe so that you get notifications about our future videos talking about the stock market and personal finances. And while you're down there, if you haven't already, be sure to check out the links in the description to get your free shares of stock from Webull whenever you open and fund your account, as well as $10 of free Bitcoin from Coinbase whenever you open your account and make your first $100 purchase of cryptocurrency. So grab your cup of coffee or your favorite beverage of choice and let's jump into it. Founded in 1999 and headquartered in Florida, AGTC is a biotech company utilizing a proprietary gene therapy to develop treatments for multiple different genetic ocular disorders, such as retinitis pigmentosa, achromatopsia, as well as neurodegenerative disorders such as ALS. Currently, AGTC has three main medications in their pipeline that are in phase two and three clinical trials for the treatment of X-linked retinitis pigmentosa as well as achromatopsia. So how does AGTC treat these disorders? Let's take a look at their investor presentation to learn more. Genes are segments of DNA that direct the cell to produce proteins that perform a vast array of functions in the body. So basically, the idea here is that DNA is the blueprint that helps the body know what type of protein it needs to assemble in order to perform the function correctly. Many diseases have a genetic basis meaning that mutated genes provide incorrect instructions that cause the cell to produce an abnormal protein. So the idea here is that having an abnormal blueprint, the DNA, results in the abnormal product, the protein that you need to have to function correctly. Disable production of a protein completely, either of which can cause disease. In gene therapy, a functional copy of the gene is delivered into a patient's own cells. Normal protein that is produced from a functional gene has the potential to correct the underlying cause of the disease and provide restorative, therapeutic benefit. So this is where AGTC comes into play. By utilizing a viral vector, which we're about to get into in a couple seconds here in their presentation, they're able to introduce the correct gene through this viral vector, which gets incorporated into the person's DNA and ultimately results in the correct protein being produced. Vectors made from adeno-associated virus, or AAV, are especially well suited for treating retinal diseases. AAV is a small, simple virus that elicits only a weak immune response and has never been shown to cause disease in humans. In gene therapy, the two native AAV genes are removed and replaced with DNA that contains a functional gene with instructions to produce a normal protein. AAV vectors are delivered to cells in the retina by routine ophthalmic delivery methods, such as intravitreal or subretinal injection. Once administered, AAV vectors enter the patient's cells and deliver a copy of the functional gene directly into the nucleus. So now in this part of the presentation, we're going to talk a little bit more about the specific diseases that AGTC is targeting. Gene therapy can provide a long-lasting therapeutic benefit. AGTC is using its technology to develop gene therapies for rare, inherited retinal diseases that currently have no treatments. One of these diseases is achromatopsia, an inherited retinal disease which is present from birth. Achromatopsia results in markedly reduced visual acuity, extreme light sensitivity causing day blindness, and complete loss of color discrimination. The retina is a layer of cells at the back of the eye. In a healthy eye without achromatopsia, special cells in the eye, called cone photoreceptors, convert light into an electrical signal. So the interesting thing about the retina is that it's actually an extension of the brain. And these cone photoreceptors are what allow individuals to see color. Which is transmitted across the layers of the retina and then to the brain for visual processing. In an eye with achromatopsia, Cone photoreceptors in the retina are unable to convert light into an electrical signal. The most common causes are mutations in one of two genes, called CNGB3 and CNGA3. So these are the genes that AGTC is going to be able to introduce back to the individual through the viral vector. Currently, AGTC's therapeutics are preclinical, not yet approved by the FDA. But since AGTC is focused on developing therapeutics for rare genetic disorders, I don't believe that gaining FDA approval will be as large of a barrier as it typically is for other medications. 
because the FDA offers an expedited process in which medications and therapeutics which treat rare disorders, therapeutics which they call orphan drugs, can gain approval faster. In addition to the therapeutics that they have in their pipeline to treat ocular disorders, I personally am really excited to learn more about what they have in the pipeline to treat ALS and frontotemporal dementia. Focusing this discussion on ALS, amyotrophic lateral sclerosis, more commonly referred to as Lou Gehrig's disease, is a progressive neuromuscular disorder in which the alpha motor neuron of the spinal cord degenerates, ultimately resulting in progressive disability, paralysis, dysphagia, respiratory failure, and ultimately death. Currently, there is no cure for ALS. It is always a fatal disease, and at the present time, the only medication that we have available to offer to patients is a medication called Riluzol, which has been shown in studies to result in a modest increase in their life expectancy. And one recent study that was published in 2019 suggested that the C9 orphan 72 gene may be involved in the pathways that ultimately result in both ALS and frontotemporal dementia. At the present time, though, the therapeutics that AGTC is developing to treat those conditions are still preclinical. So we'll have to wait and see what the results show. But as a healthcare provider who has personally taken care of patients who have been diagnosed with ALS, I am very hopeful for the results. Moving on now to briefly talk about AGTC's financials. As we can see from their most recent quarterly report that was filed on February 11th, AGTC currently has $72 million in assets compared to their $30.4 million in total liabilities. And as expected, they're currently pre-revenue and taking losses each quarter, most recently posting a net loss of $15.4 million. AGTC certainly is a very small cap and speculative investment. But as we begin to learn more about the human genome and how it's implicated in many different pathologies, this company may be one that has a lot of potential ahead of it. What are your thoughts about AGTC? Are you invested in this company? Are you thinking about investing in AGTC? Where do you see the share price going over both the short term and the long term? Be sure to comment down below and let me know what you think. And while you're down there, if there are any other stocks or topics that you would like me to talk about in a future video, please feel free to comment that down below as well. As a reminder, this video is for entertainment purposes only. I am not a certified financial planner. I'm a resident physician with an interest in personal finances and investing. Please make sure you're doing your own research before you make any financial decisions. And please be sure to smash that like button and click on the subscribe button for the YouTube algorithm and to help support my channel. Thanks everyone. Have a great day.